Hey guys, what is up? It is the Fast Break Report here bringing you guys another vlog. So I got to talk about it because everybody else is talking about it. And I actually think it's like very, very interesting. Uh, and that is Anthony Edwards absolutely backpacking the ever living shit out of Team USA. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to keep it a buck here. If you're a Pacers fan, uh, we're going to take this into a completely different direction in a way in this video, but I want to talk about it because I do think it's kind of relevant to the situation or at least, uh, future hopes anyway. Um, so Anthony Edwards the other day, uh, I believe team USA played, I, I think was it Germany they played. They played a team the other day, and uh, Anthony Edwards went off for 34 points. Um, and they were down by 16 at one point and managed to come back to win the game. And Anthony Edwards was a very big part of that. I mean, the dude had, like, this insane dunk in, like, the beginning of the game where, like, he just, like, rose up and just, like, two-hand slam on a dude. And... I'm watching Anthony Edwards play, and what is impressing me most about him is his consistency. Like, fuck everything else. Fuck the shooting, how much better it's gotten. Fuck his, his turnaround jumpers that are going in now. Like, I'm watching Anthony Edwards play, and I'm like, bro, he's, he's turning into a consistent basketball player. Like, he's turning into a guy that can go out there and grab you 30 relatively easy. Um, if I had to make a prediction for what he's going to average, like, this upcoming season... I would say he's going to easily average, like, probably anywhere from 24 to 26 a game. Like, if they give him the touches that I think he deserves. Um, he's just, for Team USA, you can see how much it's benefited Anthony Edwards. Um, watching this dude play, it's just like, you can see he's becoming consistent. He's becoming aggressive. He's attacking. He's not settling for jump shots. He's like, he's, he's, he's becoming the complete package. Um, now I will say this, I've seen some wild takes out there where people are saying like, oh, he's, he's, you know, he's, he's going to be an MVP candidate this year. I, I, I don't think that's that. I think that's a bit of a stretch. I think the idea saying that like he's, he's going to be in the MVP conversation this year is pre premature. Like I'm not saying he can't do it. I'm saying like it's, it's, you know, it's USA basketball. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I get that it's, it's still competitive, but it's, a lot of these teams are not anywhere near at the level of the teams in the NBA. Okay. The best couple teams they've played so far, I think are definitely Spain and probably Germany. Like those are the two best teams they've probably played. Okay. Now these teams do have professional NBA players on them, but l let's, let's be real here. Okay. <coughs> Rudy Fernandez is a far cry from fucking Kevin Durant, all right? But not to take away from what Anthony Edwards is doing, but it's just nice to see some real improvement out of a player. Now, with that being said, um, Tyrese Halliburton is also a guy that has really been, you know, uh, showing, show, showing like he's like one of the best passers in the world when it comes to basketball. And I, I can't help but think to myself, man, like with Anthony Edwards and Tyrese Halliburton both playing on Team USA, I think back to the uh, uh, the podcast with Paul George, po uh, you know, Podcast P um, with Paul George, where Tyrese Halliburton was talking with Paul George about them sitting next to Anthony Edwards at the All-Star game and how much they enjoyed like being together and how funny Anthony Edwards is and then now with team USA like they're playing together and they're both playing very well um and they they seem to get along really well i wouldn't be shocked if down the road like years from now i'm talking beyond 5 years from now like if Tyrese Halliburton is still in Indiana and the Minnesota thing doesn't work out for Anthony Edwards, I really wouldn't be shocked if Anthony Edwards decides like he wants to go to Indy to play with Tyrese Halliburton one day. Like it seems like their friendship is just that that strong, um, and that's wishful thinking to say the least. But it's just the idea like Anthony Edwards has truly transformed as a player. Like we're seeing it like before our very eyes. Like the guy, the kid, USA basketball has done a lot for him. Like confidence wise, um, you know, obviously last year in the playoffs, um, you know, they, they are the play in, I guess. Um, you know, they gave Anthony Edwards the reins, you know, they've been, they've been giving Anthony Edwards the reins and said, Hey, like, hey, take us there, you know, do what you're going to do. Um, and he, he delivered, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm looking right now. Let's see. Uh, 
Yeah, Minnesota last season, they were eighth in the Western Conference, and Anthony Edwards was their guy. You know, and it's really interesting because, like, I think to myself, like, Anthony Edwards is going to get better. They've learned to basically play without Carl Anthony Towns. Like, Carl Anthony Towns was out most of the season last year. And I just think to myself, like, Anthony Edwards is backpacking Team USA. If he can continue this momentum into the regular season, he's going to be their their number one option uh, on that team. Like, I, I would argue that Carl Anthony Towns at this point is the number three option. Um, only because he just hasn't played last year. And... The Minnesota Timberwolves played better without him. Um, you know, Carl Anthony Towns is a guy that I don't think is going to get moved this offseason, but he's a guy that I could see getting moved at the trade deadline. Um, you know, it's it just the idea. It's like, th- I think I think Minnesota has kind of found what they're looking for. Um, you know, they, they, they have Mike Conley at point, who is a lot better than people want to give, give him credit for. Um, but, you know, like, there's just been a lot with just Anthony Edwards as a whole, where I'm just like... He's the guy. You know what I'm saying? He's the guy in Minnesota. Um, it's not Cat anymore. It's not Rudy Gobert. It's Anthony Edwards. And Anthony Edwards has, I would say, exceeded my expectations as far as USA basketball has gone. Even in the playoffs last year, like, he has taken a real step forward. And, like, I've even seen, like, his shooting drills and stuff, like, from Team USA practice and stuff. And I'm like, the consistency is so much better than it was two years ago, even from three, like shooting corner threes. Um, you know, I'm, I'm seeing things in USA basketball that I never really saw out of Anthony Edwards before. Like I, I'm watching him hit turnaround jumpers on dudes. Like hit him, Hey, Hey, you know, hit him with the fucking hezzy and you know, nothing but nylon. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, he's developing a fucking post game. Like Anthony Edwards is posting people up, hitting post fades. He's hitting catch and shoot threes, he's, sh- he's hitting transition threes, he's getting to the hole, he's he's doing, he, like, even that ball handling is getting better, I mean, Anthony Edwards is gonna be a fucking unit, okay, here in the next, in the next, th- like, two or three years, he's already really good, but I think in the next two or three years, if Minnesota makes some serious strides forward and trades Carl Anthony Towns and puts something good around Rudy Gobert and Anthony Edwards, like, they, Anthony Edwards could fuck around and be in this MVP conversation. I, I don't I don't think it's going to be as soon as people are making it out to be like this year because people are like, oh, he could be in the conversation this year. I, I don't think it's going to be this year. I don't think Minnesota's good enough of a team to put him there. I also don't think um, Anthony Edwards is as efficient enough a scorer to be put, to put in that category yet. Um, we'll have to see how the efficiency stacks up, you know, in, in the regular season during the NBA season. But Anthony Edwards has been extremely impressive over over these these uh, I think what is it five or six games that USA has played, and I'm like yeah like he's obviously their number one guy. Another guy who's been also really nice for them is Austin Reeves. Austin Reeves has been another guy who's taken a serious step forward. Um, he just looks more comfortable out there, man. Like Austin Reeves looks like like he looks like a a, a bona fide basketball player now. Like not that he didn't before, but but like. Before USA Basketball, Austin Reeves just struck me as like a catch-and-shoot guy, a catch-and-shoot 3 and D guy. And now that like I've watched him play for Team USA, I'm watching him make backdoor cuts, he's dunking the ball, he's getting to the fucking rack, he's he's putting the ball on the floor, he's doing some dribbling, you know, hitting people with hezzies and shit. I'm like, okay, like Austin Reeves is balling too, you know? So, I, all I'm saying is, man, like Anthony Edwards, Austin Reeves, Team USA, like it has been fun to watch. And... You know, like J- the Jalen Brunson, Tyrese Halliburton debate will always go on because, you know, Jalen Brunson plays for the Knicks and Tyrese Halliburton plays for the Pacers. But USA basketball has been fun to watch this year. And it's funny because guys like Gilbert Arena has come out and say stupid shit like, oh, this team fucking sucks. They're, they're all bench players. And, and I like, I'm, didn't they lose like one game? I don't even think, I don't even think they lost a game. I think they're undefeated at the moment. Like they're going to make the qualifier. They're, they're going to be in the Olympics. You know what I'm saying? Like they, I think this year it's just a qualifier for next year, but like, Team USA balling this year. That, that's what I'm going to say. Like, like one of the guys I expected to be really impressive was Michael Bridges. And Michael Bridges is impressive, don't get me wrong. But the guy who has impressed me easily the most has been Anthony Edwards and Austin Reeves as well. I think we can co-sign that. So, tell me what you guys think about this down below in the comments section below. I like helps me out. Subscribe if you guys want to see more. I'm the Fast Break Report. And I'm out of this motherfucker. Peace, guys.